I mean, really, y'all, what the f are we doing? I can't live in this new world you're proposing. And meanwhile, while we're worrying about all this other shit, look at what's happening. They just killed another 12 people in a mass shooting in Virginia Beach. This is happening every week. It happens so much, I'm almost, I don't care anymore. I came home early from the road. I had a $12,000 suit on, because life's been going good. <laughs> and I got home early and dinner was cooking. You ever come home when dinner's cooking? Doesn't that smell good? And my son saw me. And he was like, Dad's home. And he got up from the table and ran over to give me a hug. But he had chicken grease all over his face. So I stepped on him like, yo, 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 my man, my man. Wash these threads, son. This is an expensive suit. I don't want you to get the chicken grease all over me. And, and he was like, what the f chicken grease? Dad, this is duck. A tear came out of my eyes. I never dreamt I'd do so well in life that I'd raise a nigga with duck grease all over his face. And we sat down, we just talked about everything. I was telling my wife about how my shows were going and I told her my trans jokes and she was like, oh, I hate that joke. And you know why she hates the joke? Cause she's Asian. Hey everybody, I'm Chinese. What? This is how I feel inside. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I don't make that face at the house uh, unless we're really fighting. <laughs> and me and her, like, we weren't arguing, but you know what I mean? She was just like, you need to stop doing that. And then I tried to change the subject. I go, how is school going, boys? And my son's tell me, well, we didn't have school today, technically. I'm like, well, I, what's going on? He said, well, there was like a school shooting drill. I never heard of this. You know what this is? They have drills that they make kids do uh, where they practice what to do if somebody comes to shoot up their school. I'd never heard that before. I was like, what the f Then I had to tell my sons the truth. I didn't want to tell them this sh Son, son, listen to me. F that drill. Somebody comes to your school and wants to shoot it up. I'm just gonna be honest with you. You probably gonna get shot. I'm just being real. <laughs> you got a famous dad. I talk a lot of sh They're gonna be gunning for you, little buddy. <laughs> just stay low and run in a zigzag pattern and don't try to save anybody, son. Do you understand me? Why would you have kids rehearse for something they have no control over? All you're doing is training these kids to worry. It's the stupidest drill I've ever heard of. And why you're in there training them during these drills? Well, aren't you training the shooter too? This nigga's in here listening and learning like the other kids. Sitting in the back. Where are we supposed to meet? If you're a parent, it is terrifying. It is real scary. All the parents is looking at each other crazy. Because we know as parents that one of us is raising the shooter. <laughs> Just don't know which one of us it is. All we know for sure is that if you're a white parent, the chances that it's you. <laughs> exponentially higher than the rest of us. <laughs> Shooting up school is a white kid's game. <laughs> Crazy, you know, I hated school too. It never occurred to me. Kill everybody in school? It's fucking crazy. Just do what I did. Try some things. Have you skipped school? Just skip school. <laughs> Take a walk and meet some other kids. Try drugs. Have you tried drugs? I might. Like... <laughs> if if you're in a group that I made fun of, then just know that I probably will only make fun of you if I see myself in you. I make fun of poor white people because I was once poor. 
And I know that the only difference between a poor black person and a poor white person is that a poor white person feels like it's not supposed to be happening to them. <laughs> Everything else is the same. I know what it's like to have a cold house. I wasn't allowed to touch the thermostat growing up without asking my father, and it would be freezing in the house. I'd be like, Dad, please, can I please just turn the heat up to like, I don't know, 32? It's really cold. And my dad would say, just put more clothes on, David. Got all three of my outfits on. Will you look at me? I'm freezing up here. And he said, just don't think about how cold you are, David. And I said this, I didn't say it to him, but I said it in front of him so he could hear it. I said, I fucking hate being poor. And my dad got really upset. He didn't scream or holler, that wasn't his way. He just threw his newspaper on the floor and he said, David, 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 you are not poor. He said, poor is a mentality. He said, it's a mentality that very few people ever recover from. Don't you forget it, son. You are broke. <laughs> he said, these are just financial circumstances that I hope to overcome one day very soon. And I said, well, Dad, whatever you want to call this, uh, it's wildly uncomfortable. <laughs> Six months later. There was a big dance coming up in the middle school. I was 12 years old. I said, Dad, can I go to the dance? He said, of course you can go to the dance. I want you to get out and meet some more kids. I said, great. Uh, it costs $3 to get in. And my dad said, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, son. Uh, I don't have it. I was like, what the fuck? You don't have $3? <laughs> well, then how are we alive, Dad? Wish I found some way out of this hell. I'd do anything to not be poor. I will show Michael Jackson my anus if I get a chance. I just gotta get out of this hell. Dad said, if you wanna go to the dance bad enough, I'll tell you what, there's some money in the change jar, get the money from there. I was 12 years old, that's what I did. I showed up to the dance early. There's a long line of kids waiting behind me while I'm at the door trying to count out 300 pennies to get inside. I will never forget this shit as long as I can live. Oh man, you know, if you've been poor, you know what that feels like. You ashamed all the time. Feels like it's your fault. And all them kids was laughing, ha 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 ha. Look how poor Dave Chappelle is. <sighs> like when I think back at it, that's really the only time in my life that I ever thought to myself, I should kill everybody at school. <laughs> <laughs>